Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at Venn diagrams. So a Venn diagram helps to organize outcomes into different categories. For example, in this question we've got the different types of movies liked by 25 people and the categories that we have are comedy movies or action movies. So let's put this information into a Venn diagram. So first we draw a rectangle and because we have two categories we're going to draw two circles one representing comedy movies and one representing action movies. Now, we're told that eight people like both comedies and action movies. So we're going to put eight in the middle because this section in the middle represents people that like both comedy movies and action movies. Now, we've got 18 people that like comedies. So the number that's inside this complete circle should add up to 18. So if you do 18 minus 8, we've got 10. And we know that 10 people like only comedy movies. Now, same thing with action movies. All the numbers inside this circle represent people that like action movies. So we know 12 people like action movies. Um, but out of those, there are 8 that also like comedy. So we're left with 4 people that like only action movies. Now, we're also told that three like neither comedies nor action movies. So they go out here. So they're not inside any of these circles representing the comedy or the action category. Now, we know that there are 25 people in total. So let's see that our numbers add up. So if we add up each of these numbers, so 10 plus 8 plus 4 plus 3, we should get 25. So that's 18, 22 and that is 25. Then we know 18 people like comedies. So, so the numbers inside the comedy category circle should add up to 18. And 10 plus 8 is 18. And 12 people like action movies. So the numbers inside the action movies circle should add up to 12. And 8 plus 4 is 12. Okay, so that's how we know that we got our Venn diagram set up correctly. And now we can use the Venn diagram to answer some probability questions. So let's look at B. How many people like comedies or action movies? So this is going to be all the people inside the C circle and the A circle. So if we add that up, that's 10 plus 8 plus 4. So that's 22. How many people do not like action movies? Well, we know that 12 people like action movies and there are 25 people in total. So 25 minus 12, that's 13 people. Another way to do it is to add up 10 and 3. So everyone outside the circle, the action circle. Like only comedies. So only comedies is 10 because these eight people like comedy and action. So only people that like comedies is going to be 10. If one of the 25 people was randomly selected, fine. Probability that the person likes comedies and action movies. Um, well, there are eight people who liked it out of a total of 25. So that's the probability. Probability that they like neither comedies nor action movies. So that's, so there are three people that like neither. So that's going to be three out of 25 total people and probability that they like only action movies. So four people like only action movies. So that's going to be four out of 25. 